for tuning into this video. I want to thank you and I appreciate your valuable time you've taken out of your busy day to view this video. This is, this is one of um, several ton of videos that's going to come to this channel. This here is the FYI channel, the Global Network FYI channel. The reason why I call it this is because this is for your information. Um, you deserve to find out what's going on behind the scenes and what's going on out there in um, marketing and in how to take yourself to the www and this video here is going to focus in on start a website um, first of all a little bit about myself i'm ken hayward um, i'm the owner operator of the global network and we're web services um, the reason why it's the web service now is because we've been in business since the mid-90s and we opened up actually as a help desk. Um, what we did, we, we manned the phones and, you know, people having uh, home issues with their, um, you know, computers, you know, why didn't uh, the, an application execute right or why did it all of a sudden shut down. Um, we um, manned the phones and people call in, we would give them helpful solutions to their problem issues. I mean, you know, it was, we did that probably from the time of open in 1996 oh, to the early part of the 2000 decade. And actually, we had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I networked with some of the best um, people in, in the industry back then. Um, we all worked together, brainstormed, and, you know, pulled together a team effort from, from a team of knowledgeable people in the industry. And we, we had a lot of fun doing it. Well, then I noticed in the early part of the 2000 decade, my path or the global network path was going toward internet, more toward website design, a graphic design, uh, more toward marketing, as you will, because what it basically boils down to, when you put a website up, you're actually, you're taking a, you're marketing to another level, to a global level. Well, in through the course of years doing business, I've had several consultations with uh, potential clients and clients, and everybody is wanting start a website. Yeah, everyone's wanting to start a website. And of course, you know, going through the consultation steps, you know, and the quest, routine questions, I would ask everybody, well, okay, what's your, what is your goal with this? And people say, we want to put a website out there and make a lot of money. Okay, well, that's pretty broad, you know, I mean, but that, that's what I received on these consultations. And I would um, come back with the routine questions, as I said, and we'd, um, you know, kind of put things down on paper. And, of course, in my years of doing this, I find out that 99.9% .9 of the people do not have a business plan. And, of course, anybody watching this that have brick and mortar know that um, a business plan is a mess. It's a road map to your success down the future. And um, when you take a website on the WWW, um, it's initially a business venture. You're, you're taking your business mo you know, more likely to the global market. And so what's going to happen, you have to have a, either addition to the business plan if you're brick and mortar or a, a full-fledged business plan. And this business plan um, will, will keep you in areas on, on track. You know, I mean, it will, it will keep you, make your path to get from here to here. And the thing of it is, um, you know, in my business plan structure, you know, I'm always double checking, well, am I, am I supposed to be here? Am I here? Well, what do I need to do here and there to get to a different position? Now, there, you know, here's what I include. We're going to get more on business plans and later videos um, to this stream, but basically the areas I include in my business plan, even if it's just, you know, I open up a word pad or a stenographer's pad, and I'll write these things down because it keeps me in track. And I tell my clients and potential clients and people who I meet with, you know, it keeps you in, in check and where you need to be, you know, what, what you're going to have to do to get here and, you know, to get there, and it keeps, it's a, it's a road map. And these areas right here, for one thing, start a um, website, you have to have positive thinking.
positive thinking is a must in business. Um, if you know, if you're negative, you have negative thoughts, get rid of them, take them out. Because I'll tell you what, positive thinking is your is a key note because you have to stay positive. It's because I'll tell you what, it's going to be a challenge for you in business. You're going to have a lot of hurdles. You're going to have a lot of changes taking place. You're going to be doing a lot of brainstorming in this. And brainstorming is where you might sit down and, um, of course, people with brick and mortar already know this. But you might sit down and do a an ad campaign. And, of course, online ad campaigns done a little bit different than a brick and mortar campaign because you're, you're global. You know, you're global. You have, you know, when you're doing a global campaign on the Internet, people might be looking for tennis shoes and then people might be looking for sneakers. Well, you gotta, you got to blend that in to your um, ad campaign online. So you're always brainstorming. You're brainstorming new ad campaigns. You're, and also, I tell everybody, I, 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 will, I will ask everybody, matter of fact, I was telling this to someone the other day, are you doing any A, B, T? And some will say, well, yeah, we know what that is. Other ones will say, what do you mean? Always be testing, folks. A, B, T, I'm always testing. I mean, testing, I'm always doing analysis on keyword phrases, uh, different ways you position things on your site. Um, you know, um, and it's just, you know, you're always doing it. Always be, always be testing, brainstorming. This is the business, um, you know, that you're going to be doing with your online business. I mean, it's just, you know, there's no way to get around it. So you better allocate a lot of time because um, brainstorming and ABT, and then when you're out there online, you need to be, um, you know, checking off credibility. How is your credibility out there? Is, you know, if you're a brick and mortar, are you reputable? Uh, is your credibility good? Well, if that's the case, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a thumbs up with the, with the WWW and your global market because people are looking for credibility. Um, if you're kind of, you know, a little bit on credibility, you better get that up to snuff because I'll tell you why, when I bought things off online before, not many times, but when I bought things, nine, no, probably 99% of my time I buy, they're from reputable and credible sources. I have bought stuff on, you know, non-credible sources, and I sure feel it, but when I don't get the product, or you have to, you have to hunt somebody down for contact information, you have to do a lot of chasing the product you bought. So you gotta be careful on that. Credibility is one of the things. Also, dependability. Dependability is another one. <clears throat> um, you don't know how many people I've talked to in the past, and they might have a great front. I mean, they did they did all the crossing the T's, dot the I's on the SEO, the advertising, the ducks are in place, the um, the displays good, the the layouts great. But how's their dependability on delivering the product? I've, I've bought products online, not many, but I've bought products. I've, I've talked to people who bought products, and they've told me, they said, Ken, we bought off XYZ site, and it's been three weeks since we got a product. I, I would say, well, call them. See, I, and, or I might say, I can't believe that on that XYZ. So, hell, they have such, a, they have such a, a grand name. They have such a brand. Well, and they're given three weeks waiting. I, you better call them to see what's going on. It might have been something... Um, wrong with their tracking or their, um, you know, um, their e-commerce software or, or cart. I said, you better be checking that. Dependability is a big thing on the net, folks. I mean, for one thing, most of the people you're going to buy off of are going to be people that don't know you personally. And, um, you know, that's, that's a hard hurdle to jump if, you know, to buy something off somebody that you don't even know. Well, that's the global market. That's where everything has gone to. You know, when you have a brick and mortar, it's, you know, um, you, you see your customers. Like back in the 80s, I ran a very successful uh, furniture stripping refinishing shop, and I knew my clients. You know, the clients came through the door, you know, and I mean, and I, I love going doing face-to-face -face business with clients. I mean, um, they, I, I just, I just love my clients back then. I love my clients now, you know, but the thing of it is, um, that was a more face-to-face -face communication, and we're going to get more into communication um, in in uh, you know um, future videos on this channel. 
but basically networking and communication are two forms of very important um, techniques you have to master to technically put them in place when you do business online. Now, business online is great. It's a tool to take your business globally. Um, also, whatever you're selling, um, you're going to have to, you know, whether it's um, you know services or tangible products, you're going to have to you're going to have to have good content. I mean, you're going to have to good, have great content for the products you sell. I know when I'm buying online, I like to read something about the product. I like to read something about the service. I like to see you know good positive reviews on it. I like to see oh, there's very little negative. Matter of fact, I have um, you know um, subcontractors out there that does some of my intros on my videos and everything for me. And um, you know, I see when I see a hundred percent feedback, that's a that's an A plus in my folks. That's a thumbs up because I know out of probably three or four hundred um, you know projects that the that these people have done, they get a hundred percent feed uh, feedback of a positive. That is, that's great for me. You know, you don't mind spending your money or putting your money to good use when you're when you're doing putting it towards something that's a hundred percent positive. Um, also, you have to have a passion. Okay, you have to be passionate what you're selling. I mean, people that have brick and mortar stores probably already know this. They, you know, you have to have a passion to sell that product. Like for example, when I sell, when I be in the business to sell car motors, I doubt I don't have a passion for car engines. So I would not be the good, I would not be the right salesman to sell at a parts uh, or at a parts store for automobiles because that's not my passion. My passion is web services. My passion is oh, another passion I have is health. I, I love the health industry. I love to find out all I can about the health because, if, uh, folks. The internet is a place of information. We are going to the internet to find out, to become informed, to become knowledgeable in the industry of what we're either in or what we're looking at to getting into or the, some of the products and service that are out there. We, we want to become more informed of what's going on. Uh, we want to become a little more knowledge-based, you know, savvy. So when we, we purchase online, we know what we're purchasing. I mean, and throughout the course of the years, I've purchased stuff online, and believe me, some of it didn't have, <laughs> didn't, didn't take a lot of that kind of strategy. And when I received the product, I get it. Well, why did I even buy it? Did I really need it? No, I just did it because of a sales pitch hype and fluff ad. So become informed, and the internet is a beautiful thing, a beautiful medium to do this because it's free. Yeah, you can find out a little bit of everything. Well, I love the health industry. Matter of fact, I got some affiliates I'm kind of um, working with. And um, it's a very competitive niche, a very competitive niche to say the least. So I got my work cut out for me on that, you know, but it's going to be enjoyable. The ride will be enjoyable. And do you think I won't be doing a lot of ABT? You better believe I will. I'll be doing a lot of, um, always be testing strategy in there because folks, everybody sells a diet pill. <laughs> So, so everybody's got some sort of health ebook or electronic digital product or tangible product to tune up people's health. Well, you know the the vitamins I take. I wish this company would would become um, affiliate based or have an affiliate program and running because I would be all over it because I love their vitamins. They just they just make me feel so good, and I'm, I, I I wish they would come out with an affiliate program. But otherwise, um, passion, you have to have a passion for what you love. You know, if you love, um, you know, needle pointing, well, um, expand on that passion. Give some great techniques, give some great details about your passion because that's the best, that's the best information out of it because it's 100% unique content and that's what Google is looking for. That's what all these search engines out there are looking for, 100% unique content. To monetize your site, you know, because you're not going to put a site up and put a few things on there and have it just waving at you. I mean, you want it to do something for you. You want it to be um, generating income for you, a passive, uh, no less. So you want to make sure you can do this, and so you want to have a passion what you sell. Now I've had clients tell me, well, Ken, I don't have a passion for really anything. I said, what have you done in life? Well, I had I had a lady the other day tell me that. Well, you know, they like camping. Her and her husband and family love to camp. That's her passion. I mean, I could tell the way at our consultation, she was bringing this information over to close to, you know, right into me, and I could tell the lights in her eyes. Well, Ken, we love to camp. 
I said, that's your passion. Your passion is camping. Um, yeah, but can we make money with that? I said, sure you can. I said, do some research. We can help you with it because that's what our web services is all about. And I said, we can help you get on there. And now I'm not going to say it's going to be a, it's going to be a quick thing because building a business online is just like building a brick and mortar, folks. It's commitment, it's business commitment. And I, I think I've said this in my other videos. You want to commit anything um, up to two to seven years business commitment because you're monetizing, your content writing, your oracle marketing, you're doing a lot of ABT, and it takes time. Ask anybody who has a brick and mortar store, a restaurant, could be anything, restaurant, uh, pipe shop, um, you know, auto store, um, and you better believe they do a lot of ABT. They, they, they put together um, different kind of ad promos, and, they, and they, what they do, they monitor and analyze those ads and see what brings in the most, generates the more, um, you know, traffic into their stores. And they're always doing the ABT thing. So it's, it's what this is. But it's enjoyable business. I mean, where else can you be your own boss? Where else can you try your own ideas? And um, it's, it's fun. It's fun. I, I just love this business. And the thing of it is, you never get bored. I had someone the other day ask me, he said, well, Ken, you're bored. I said, I'm bored. I said, folks, I have enough work here in my office, probably keep me busy for the next two to three years. Just, just keep getting the thing up to speed because I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm diving in, I'm, I'm trying to position this, I'm trying to position this. Oh, this website needs to be, needs, layout needs to be changed. Oh, this needs to be changed. I mean, it's a constant brainstorm in ABT. I love it. And so, and plus I help my clients. You know, that, that's the two to three years, this is my stuff that's going on. My affiliates, my, you know, my services. I'm not talking about my clients, I'm not talking about potential clients that come in, you know, wanting consultations, where they can go, what direction they, 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 they can go. And the thing of it is, also another thing that really kind of, I kind of laugh at is, whenever we get down to, well, what's your budget in this, uh, Mr. Mr. Client, on, um, you know, your, you know, this, um, strat this project, and um, you know this strategies want to put in place well you know folks a couple hundred bucks is not realistic um, I usually tell my clients to get into the game to get in to give you some good to give that website that web business a chance budget five thousand dollars to get you started five thousand to get you started now I have a lot of people out there that say five thousand wow we didn't want to tie up all that but 5000 pretty much would get you two to three years registrar and park fees at the host. It would give you a lot of great generated content, would give you some templates on different kind of CMS, and I mean, it would give you some PR in there that a brick and mortar. Ask anybody who runs a brick and mortar if they spend as little as $5,000 to get their business up and going. I can guarantee 99.9% .9 of them said no. Because, matter of fact, not too long ago, I know someone started a business and it, it was going to cost them $49,000 just to get the door open. $49,000 to the time he unlocks the door and voila, we're open for business. So, uh, that, that was small business. <laughs> so, $49,000 is on the, on, on the low side. These businesses out there, they really, you know, they, they can range anywhere from a million dollars to open up the doors, folks. So 5,000, including two years, um, two to three years, um, you know, uh, registrar fees. I mean, that's your business set. Don't have to worry about the registrar fees. Um, but now, also another thing is, I've, I've seen through the uh, reports that Google is starting to lay more heavily on, on um, website age. Website age. Website age. Um, how long has the website been out there? Has it been all out there um, a few weeks, a few months? You know, all websites start off somewhere, okay? Well, the thing of it is, they've got kind of a grading system, I think, in place. If your website is under three months, they call it the baby. It's baby yet. Yeah. It's, it's starting. It's, you know... And you know, ch chances are the chances for sandboxing is going to be a little more strong. But you know, you can you can get in there, monetize it, put some fresh content up, make changes to it every week, 
and you can easily get out of the sandbox um, syndrome and into a um, three month plus um, a three months oh, plus. It's been here longer than three months. Thumbs up. And you keep monetizing, you keep adding content, you keep, um, you know, you keep working with the site, with your, um, like your tasks that you develop in your business plan, which we'll get more into because I got a whole video. One, just I've got uh, on one, I've got several, but I got one video that kind of drills down on a business plan, what you need, and that'll be on the channel as well. Um, but three months, they call it the adolescent. Then anything over, I think it's over nine months. It lives in adolescent from three to nine months. Now we're over nine months. It becomes more seasoned. You're, you're, you're closing in on the year. They've seen some nice content generated. They've seen some, they've seen some little traffic because you've done your, you've done your traffic analysis and traffic building. And <clears throat> now, now you're, you hit a year spot. But you know what Google looks at then? Okay, this website's been here for a year. You get, the, you get the green, you know, you get the green check, you get the thumbs up. But how long are you going to be here? I, I, I've had reports and I've had different people in SEO tell me, well, Ken, if you're going to register a site, do the five-year minimum. I ask, why? Because Google and some of the search engine um, criteria, if they, if they go in a spot or a site and see that registrar less than maybe two years or a year or whatever, they'll... They'll they'll derank you. So, some of them won't even what they'll do. They won't even they won't even bother to move you up into the ranks. They won't even bother to index you efficiently. And um, you know, so you'll be back on page 600, 500. You know, you'll. I mean, you know, they just won't give it credibility. There's here we are again. We're up into credibility because they see that site. You know, a site can go down in a year. You know, if somebody if somebody only registers a site for a year, um, chances are um, they uh, search engine. Um, you know, bots and spiders think that, well, this guy's not, this, this, they're, they're not serious about this site. It's only registered for a year. A serious business will be registered for five minimum, you know, five year minimum. Now, are some of my sites registered like that? No, they're not. See, I, I've got to do some I'm catching up there because I've got a few sites that I've, I have maybe two years and three years, but I have a couple sites that's five years. But folks, so we learn as we go along. <clears throat> and as I said earlier in this video, I network with some of the best people in this business as well. Like years past when I we did the help desk and whatnot, <clears throat> I network with some of the best associates in the industry. I do the same thing with this. With the only thing is, is from a marketing pers uh, perspective. Now we're in the marketing and analytics spectrum, and I and I uh, once again I network with a lot of white hatters out there. We're all you know we do white hat SEO. And I don't, you know, I'm more, I'm more of a build slow, build that foundation slowly, so you don't, you don't get slapped down by the uh, Google Panda and the Ping one, like you know, here just recently. So <clears throat> this is kind of a, this video here has been more or less a mindset and mentality check. We all need those all the time. The mindset mentality checks is keeping you focused on your business, on your positive thinking, and you know. If you can become passionate in your industry, that's a thumbs up to the search engine because you're going to put great content out there. You're going to build something that the search engines are going to love, and that's who you know. We are we are building these sites number one for the search engines to love. So we'll be we'll be you know we'll give, be given the credibility and dependability, and also for our users out there. I mean, if you build a site. Um, the layout's terrible, the text is terrible, I can't read anything. Well, you know, matter of fact, I, I gave some critiquing to a, um, a site just not too long ago, and they, they asked me to look at it, and I did, and I said, well, that's good if I got good content. But I said, your content's all run together. I mean, it, it took a big paragraph like this, and, whoosh, and it just like it just run together, and I started reading down through it, and I got bored. I just got bored, and I, I told them, I said, I might have been there maybe a minute, and I got bored with it. You did, they said, and I said, well, yeah, and I told them, I said, it needs to be split up, needs to be, to give the reader a little bit of um, breathing room, and, you know, so anyway, that's, that's another video, I didn't want to keep this video too long, but um, it's, um, just keep this in mind, start a website, keep my positive thinking, brainstorming, do your ABT, credibility, dependability, passion, um, 
Website age is, you know, of course, that's, you know, at the control of the, um, you know, when you start the website. And also two to seven year business commitment. And that'll come in play when we, when we drill down on business plans. And that will be for another video. But I don't want to keep this too long. I appreciate everybody here at this video. I want, to, I want you to urge you to bookmark this video, bookmark this website up here, and um, um, keep returning because we're going to have tons of information come to this. And um, it's a deal where this, you know, I, I go to a lot of conferences, a lot of business webinars, uh, briefings, meetups in the marketing and SEO and IT industry and I, you know you know if I could pull just a little nugget of information if I could take away just a nugget of information from it it was a worthwhile event so keep this in mind um, the more knowledge the more information you could be armed with in your arsenal the better you'll succeed so I'll tell you what everybody went in right there I appreciate everybody. I hope everyone have a, have a fantastic super day because I know I am. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.